Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nelsie. If you're new here, I am a certified personal trainer and a certified nutrition coach. So today I'm bringing you guys a really great back workout and I'm gonna talk you through most of it. And I'm really excited about that, so let's get into it. So we're going to start off with a warm up just to get our bodies moving and our blood flowing. And for this, I'm gonna start with just doing some dynamic stretches as you guys are going to see. And then we're gonna do some five minutes of jump roping. So the first exercise we're gonna be performing is a horizontal barbell pull-up. Now you don't have to have any weights on there. This was just already on here. So I like to start my back workouts with some kind of pull-up, whether it's the horizontal barbell pull-up or a regular pull-up on a pull-up bar. So this setup is really easy to do. You can set it up as at the squat rack, just move the little safety things lower. So we're gonna get into position and we're gonna do 10 reps for four sets. Do, to prove everything you say is true. And if you let me, I keep loving you. I just can't change my emotions. Once you're done with your 10 reps, what you wanna do is rest for a minute and a half. Make sure you are resting for a minute and a half and not 60 to 30 seconds or 30 to 60 seconds, a minute and a half minimum before you jump into your next set. It's crucial that you rest and let your muscles recover up to 80% before you jump into your next set. Whew. I also wanted to add the higher the bar, the easier the movement. The lower it is, the harder it is gonna it is gonna be to pull yourself up. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest putting the bar a lot higher so that it's easier to pull yourself up and you don't have a lot of range of motion. It limits your range of motion, so it makes it a lot easier for you. So I highly recommend you putting the bar up if you're a beginner. If you wanna challenge yourself, definitely go lower. <laughs> So let's get into the next exercise, which is going to be a barbell row using the same barbell. Next, we're doing barbell rows, barbell bent over rows. You can use a dumbbell if you have that available, but I'm using the barbell. Now, if you were doing the horizontal barbell pull up, you can leave it as is and just add on some weight and you can do the barbell as well if that's what you are comfortable doing, but challenging. And if you are doing it higher, what you wanna do is lower it. You can leave it on the ground as well. You don't have to necessarily have it up here. So we're gonna set up for, it's already set up, so I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. So you're gonna put your hands over the barbell, not under. <laughs> Once you're done with these 10 reps,
reps, you're gonna rest for a minute and a half and jump into the next one. It's pretty much it for this exercise. Remember, you're grabbing it on top of the barbell, not under. And then when you roll, you're going to roll towards the belly button. So the next exercise is going to be the lat pull down. So the lat pull down is going to work your lats and your biceps. So for this, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to set it up. So we're gonna do the front view, just for example, and then I'm gonna turn around and do my reps. So we're doing three sets of 12 reps for this. Whew. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Okay, let's start. So once you, I'm holding it pretty wide as you guys can see, and then I'm going to pull it down and show you guys exactly how I'm gonna be doing it. So when you pull the bar down, you're gonna pull it towards your chin or under the chin, but not too low. So, but you do wanna go in past the chin. And then as you can see, my chest is up. And then we wanna extend at the top. We don't want our shoulders going inward, but you really wanna extend at the top. So pull down, engage the lats, and then let the weight back up. Extend the lats, pull down and squeeze. Okay, just like that. Let's do it. So, So the last and final exercise we're gonna be doing is a cable pull down. So we're going to be using the rope attachment for this and then you're going to pull the, pull the cable towards your hips basically. So you're gonna pull the table towards the hips and you're gonna squeeze your back and we're squeezing the traps together just like that. So we're gonna be doing 15 reps of this, use a low weight but challenging. Let's do it. So that's pretty much it for this exercise. So just remember to really squeeze your traps at the bottom of the movement. And again, at the top, you wanna spread your lats. So remember, when you pull the weight down, you're pulling it towards your hips and squeezing your back. pretty much it for today's workout i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed it if you do try this workout out please let me know in the comments down below and tag me on instagram at it's nelsie and i'll see you guys in my next video